This is the Comtex 10. It's a fully mechanical calculator and it was made between 1957 and 1971. About a million of these were made. Let me turn it over. There we go. On the bottom is uh, an instruction sheet and here you can see it was made by the brothers Carlson in Denmark and distributed by Rex Rotary. In America they went by the name uh, Bone, B-O-H-N. Here's the serial number and um, yeah, these there should be rubber feet on these, they, those have disintegrated, there's only one left here. And uh, this is a, a switch that locks up the mechanism for transport. So let me just unlock this first, there you go. And um, it has an output register here of 11 digits, there's a, a counter digit there which doesn't count. And uh, you can clear that output by pressing the C here. It also has an input register, uh, which is essentially invisible. The only uh, sign of it is this, uh, this pointer, which, uh, and you can clear the input by moving the pointer to the right, to, to zero, as it were. So, uh, to add a number, you simply type it in. And as you type, you can see that this pointer moves to the left to show that you've now done three digits, five digits. And this big plunger here, when you press that down, what you've typed in gets added to the register here. As you do so, the input automatically becomes gets cleared again, this is moved to the right, ready for you to add another number. And so on. To subtract, that's just as easy. You just type a number and then the subtract button. And what's, in, what's going to happen now is quite interesting. As I'll press this, you'll see this whole register move to the left, which is uh, done so that uh, these, uh, the register is uh, uh, driven on uh, in reverse, as it were, so that it subtracts. And if I now type another number, you, you've noticed that the uh, minus button popped up again, so the next number I add will just, the next number I've input will just be added, and this moves to the right again. But to subtract, I have to press that button again, the minus button. And so on. It's, it's very straightforward. Uh, multiplication is similar to what's done on, uh, on pinwheel machines. Let me just clear the output. If I want to, uh, to, to multiply uh, 125, Multiply that by, say, 25. First, I have to press down the multiply button. Uh, the main thing that does is it prevents the input being cleared. So now when I press this down, it gets added to the output, but this is not cleared, so that I can press this down five times. And so now I've added this 125 five times, so multiplied it by five. You can see here on the right, this, this counter, the black number there, it says five, which is how many times I've pressed down this, this lever. To multiply this 125 by 25, I can now shift the input to the left and add it twice. By adding it twice, I've ad added it to twice to uh, the next higher columns, to the tens column as it were, so I've multiplied it by 25 now. 
Again here you see that the counter is now on 2 because I've, I've pressed this down twice for this digit. So this result here is 25 times 125. Uh, division is uh, slightly different. It's uh, let me clear clear this all up. So you clear the output register, and when I clear the input register, the multiply button will be uh, uh, reversed. So anyway, to to do division, suppose I want to divide 625 by 25. So I've entered 625. I can now press this button, which shifts the result all the way to the left. And now oh, the input. So now when I put it in the output register, it's on the left-hand side. The reason for this is when you normally do division, you want to be able to calculate as many digits after the decimal point as possible. So you want to start as far to the left as possible. To divide this by 25, I essentially have to subtract 25 lots of times. But uh, yeah, I'll, I'll press the divide button and the subtract button. And to do this long division, I have to start at the left again. So I press the shift left button. So I start at the far left by subtracting 25 as, as often as possible. So I just start pressing down this button. Eventually you'll see what happens is that this underflows and when that happened the minus button was uh, popped back up but I, I keep uh, pushing down. So what it's done now is it's added that last 25 back again so that it's, it's, this stays positive. And now it's all locked up. This shows me that the first uh, digit has been calculated for the long division. You can s just see it here in the counter, this red digit here is two, because I've subtracted 25 twice from the, the number here. So you have to then write that down, write down this two as the first digit of your answer. Now I shift to the right so that I can now start uh, subtracting from the next columns in the long division. When I press this uh, shift right button, the minus button was also pressed down automatically and this lever was, has become unlocked and this counter has become zero. So I'm completely ready to start uh, subtracting from the next columns. So I just start pushing it down and keep going until until it locks up. And you see here I've subtracted it five times. So the next digit of the division is five. So far I've divided the result of my division is 25. And because it's all zeros now, I'm done. So when you divide 625 by 25, you get 25. And uh, to, to get rid of this uh, division button, you have to clear the input again, and it pops up. So, this was the Context 10. Thank you for watching.